All right, so today we're going to learn how to do a graduation banner. Um, we're just essentially going to make it from scratch. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to set up your page width, which we're going to do a 4x8 banner. So this is the length. It's going to be 8 feet. And the width is going to be 4 feet. All right, so let's go ahead and save this project. We're just going to save it to the desktop so everything is easy to find. Alright. Now, the program we're using is called Corel Draw. You can use different graphic arts programs. This is just the program that I have that I like to use. So, the first thing we're going to do is I've kind of already got a template over here. And we're going to go through and we're going to steal some design elements from this one. Now these design elements I'm pulling from are from a 3x6 banner, so we're going to have to make them proportional to work on a 4x8 banner. So let's get rid of the frame around it. All right. Now let's make this just a little bit bigger. As you can see, that didn't quite pan out proportionally. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this picture up a little bit and we'll go ahead and replace that picture. And how you're going to do that is you can come to effects, power clip, and edit contents. I can remove that old picture. We're going to import our new picture. You want to try to get that as tight in the frame as you can. Alright, then we can delete this old picture out because we don't need that anymore. So then we're going to come through in effects and finishing editing that level on power clip. And it's all nice and neat now. And what's nice is it, con it contains it inside that box that you were working with. Alright, so let's move this off to the side for now. And we'll also move this piece as well. So the next thing we want to do, we'll leave the font the same. Let's change this font, and since this is my graduation banner, good thing I don't need to change the name. So let's change it to something like Bank Gothic. Or you could also do, there's another one that would look good, it's called Copper Plates. So let's do that. Let's go with the Copper Plate. There we go. And I don't think I'm graduating from under area high school anymore. So let's go. with the University of North Georgia. And we're not in the class of 2010 anymore. We're the class of 2016. Let's drop that name down just a little bit more. I'm going to move all this up.
center at all. Move it all up here just a little bit. Because we are going to put the UNG logo in here as well. Alright, so. Figured let's go change this logo around a little bit. Instead of using the Nighthawk logo, we're going to use the one with the steeple that the school uses on their website. So let's pull that one up real quick. There we go. Actually, that's not what I said it does. There we go. So let's center that up. We'll actually put that in the center right here. And we're going to even that up and then position that all in the center. Now the next thing we're doing is this piece that was over here to the left, we're going to take it and we're going to have to stretch it out and make it fit all the way across. And it's actually going to be, if the page is 98, this is going to be 96 inches wide. And we'll center that. We'll take it to the top. Now, see, the one thing we're going to do is we're going to have to make sure that it gets over this. Or we're going to have to move this around a little bit to where the white's not showing on top of our logo here. So, there's a couple things we can do with that. We can either slide this over to the left a little bit more like that, but I don't like the way that looks on the name. So what we can do is we can just flip flop these two. And we'll take the, oops, we'll take the graduation year and put it up here and the actual logo down here on the bottom. We'll slide that logo up just a little bit more. And let's make this class of 2016 just a little bit bigger so it's legible. And we'll straighten all these up. And you see how I've got an outline around my name and the congratulations. We need to do that with the 2016. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to the outline pen. We're going to click this little arrow on the bottom and go to Outline Pin. So we're going to, let's try with a 16, actually let's go with a 24 point outline. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put it behind the fill and also scale it with the image. So if we make the image itself bigger, the outline will follow it. And we're going to make that outline our white that we're using so that it gives us some separation. And pow, there we go. You see, since we used a white outline, you don't see the outline on this side, but you get some separation here within the color. And let's see what these are on their outline pen as well. And we'll just try to match the best we can. That's also close to a 24 point. So we'll just leave that as is. Drop that down just a little bit. Alright, so the final thing we need to do is we need to change the color because obviously the University of North Georgia is not purple. So much like I did with the picture, we're going to come here and we're going to add power clip. And edit contents. And you'll see I've got a purple sheet in here. All we're going to do is we're just going to import a blue one that I have pre-done. I've got some pre-done templates. And we'll change the color on it real quick. Alright, now see I've got two blue backgrounds. North Georgia's blue is just a little bit darker to match the logo. So we're going to run with that. 
and see how that looks first. And now we're going to make this big, as big as the purple one. We can just delete the purple one out and drop the blue one in. Let's see, it's, it needs to be a little bit bigger. And let's just try to drop that in right there. And there you go. Now we've got a good looking graduation banner. Notice I've got a little bit of gray down here on the bottom. We can actually make that gray line a little bit bigger by dropping it down some. And make it a little bit more prominent. All right, so there we go, we have that. Now the last thing we need to do, let's go ahead and make sure we save. The last thing we need to do is we need to come down here to my templates and we need to drop the outlines for when we go to print it. All right, and you'll see I've got a pre-done 4x8 template right here. I'm just going to double click on that and open it and we'll take that frame and drop it in the new one. All right, and once the template's up, we're just going to control all and we're going to copy that. We'll come back to our banner that we've been working on and just drop it in. All right, and let's drop that in. And it should fit perfectly in there. And there we go. And you'll see when we come through in here, if I zoom in a little bit, You can see in the corners, if you look right here, there's a faint little dot, and it's also that way on the bottom as well. Those are going to be our grommet holes for the holes to put the wire uh, through to, to hang the banner on. Um, well, once we've done that, we can just go ahead and save. And we will publish to a PDF and be ready to print. It will export this to our desktop, and there you have it. That's how you make a graduation banner.